double bound O to it. Ring. There can be two more, two more diamonds here. There's just one. You just draw the diamond. I mean, like I said, the worst that'll happen is the line won't line up like it should. So there's a five-member ring. That's pretty cool there. The way that works. And then off next to the O, you got one methyl up here. And next to that, you got. CH2 to a methyl. So you see the way you start getting a feel for this? Terminal carbon, CH3s. CH3, CH2, gets 1H. N gets an H. One there. Two there. We got a double bond here. We see a carbon right there that's SP orbital there, S orbital. We're coming down here. Here's one. Here's one. Now we got a side group coming off here. There's the double bond. We started it. Remember, there's like four little chains on this. They'll fold around, and the ends will capture the iron. The bile is the breakdown of the hemoglobin. So the double bond coming off the end is going to go right up to a carbon. It's going to get a double bond over here. There's a double up. Oh, it can't be right, right? Too many bonds on that one. Double bond to a carbon. Oh, it goes up to a carbon. See, you correct your mistakes. This goes to, up to another carbon. That carbon starts the rain. Camera there. So that gets a double bond. This carbon here goes to double bond carbon to an N. Three, there's only going to be one more in there. And that gets a double bond to it. So this carbon. One, two, three. One, two, three has that carboxylic acid like we noticed before. CH2, CH2, now this is the whole ring in there, so we want this bond, I can go there and we'll put a little methyl on there. This is 
Remember, I'm not looking ahead to do this. I'm just doing it on the fly. You see me make a mistake, you'll be able to learn how to fix it. This one gets it. This here, this guy, one in there is going to have an H, right? So here I see a couple carvings we can fill in. Got that side group. Now we're coming up off the reins. Got an H on it. So that's got the methyl on it. So up here is going to go to one carbon. It's going to go to another carbon in the ring. going to do it is it's going to go to an N. N goes to a carbon. A ketone on it. I remember doing here. And this one's here. How can you do this here? It's in the ring. This one actually goes off the CH2 to a methyl, one next to that had a methyl on it, no double bonds in there, so CH3, one, two, three, CH2, CH, CH, methyl, H, one H, CH2, it's a double bond, no more double bonds here, so any carbons that we can do. Double bond in there. Okay, so let's get our green here. So that's more colorful. Green. 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 We got a carbon right there that's SP. Can color that in. So these are ones, it looks like. Well, here's one here. There's two, actually. So, so you really get to think when you're coloring it in. If you write it, you're done. But when you're coloring it, you got to think. Okay, let's see. Methyl, what we do in black? There's a methyl. There's a methyl. And here's a couple methyls. So these are about the biggest molecules you would ever have to draw in a college class, or any university level class. Nobody draws hemoglobins. And you really ought to. I mean, if you ever do, you're really into the ring. You see the way these structures come together. You draw four or five 